ladies, welcome back to my channel. It's the girl Melody. I'm at Bird back with another video. And I want you guys to get ready with me today. Anyway, guys, I'm gonna be going to a baby shower today. One of my really good friends is having a little I have to go back with my fluffy brush and blend everything together. Absolutely love this palette. Thank you, Warrior by Juvia's. In my spicy brown foundation. Y'all know I love this foundation. It's so pretty and it gives ultimate coverage for those who have, you know, dark spots and all those little zit complications that I do. So I just work that product all around my face and I go into my eyeshadow again, just cleaning everything up because I'm going to conceal my eyes and I don't want any eyeshadow to drop in my concealer. And I go into my Revolution concealer and I just get on the bottom of my eye where I have my circles and, you know, bags as <laughs> we all working women got. So I I used that concealer to highlight the bottom of my chin, the rim of my nose, top of my forehead, of course, underneath my eyes, and the top of my lip. And I blend that baby on out. Make sure you get underneath your eyes really good. You see I'm looking up and making sure that I'm getting every single crease so everything is all blended out beautifully. 
for some of you who are just starting off makeup make sure that whenever you're using foundation you are concealing because it makes a major difference in the coverage guys i promise y'all like whenever you guys put on foundation and use the right concealer as well as the right products it will make a major difference on how you look and for those of you who want your makeup to last and look flawlessly beautiful all throughout the day i recommend that you guys get revolution luxury baking powder that's what i use in the color banana beach go ahead and get you some four pack wedges from the beauty supply store and what you're going to do is just pat that product in concealer and you're making sure that you're getting every single crease underneath that eye that's why you see me looking up and i get underneath both of my eyes and the corner of my lips and i get my forehead because that's where i get most of my creasing throughout the day and please do not be alarmed subscribers this is not how it looks i'm making sure that i get all that product off my face before i go ahead and use my mac prep and prime you guys this will get that powdery flashback look off your face but i didn't know that there was a lock on my shit i thought all my stuff was broken so i'm over here struggling but i finally got that product out and i just spray it all across my face and let it dry and let it sink in and if you guys watch my previous videos you know i hate the, the feeling of foundation on my lips so i wipe that bitch off and i'm just drying my face and i use my concealer brush to go ahead and work in that concealer so i can get a beautiful conceal on my face so it will make my face more contoured and it will shape my face as well and i just go into my jawline working my way up and around my face and i'm fixing my eyeshadow and with my first brush that I use, I use that to contour my face with that same contour powder I use to contour my cheeks and my forehead as well as on the bottom of my face. And I kind of work that into my eyeshadow as well to get a more defined look. And of course, I'm not done with my eyes. I will be doing an eyeliner. And I use Stila eyeliner because it is so black and waterproof as well and it's easy to apply. And what I do is I just draw a thin natural line, not too much, and I want a small wing, so let's wing it on out. And let's apply some lashes to it. So let's lash it on up. And these are lashes by Kiss. I will begin to make my eyes pop by using my Happy Birthday palette in that orange color and just start that at the outer corner of my eye. And by using this smaller brush, I go ahead and highlight the inner corner of my eye by the Juvia's palette. And so now that we're done with all the small tedious stuff, I will be using Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara to lock this look in. And I'll be using a brown pencil to do the outer corner of my eye. And I always poke the shit out of my eye, as you can see. <laughs> but I use the same brown pencil to go ahead and uh, line my lips. And today I'll just be using a regular cream nude lipstick and I go ahead and put on my mascara making sure that I'm working into my eyelashes as well. It's very important whenever you apply these kiss lashes that you lock in your lash with the false lash or it will just look like, you know, your lash and then the big lash. So make sure that you're putting the mascara on the bottom as well to really make your eyes pop and to solidify this look. Okay, subscribers, this is my favorite part of doing my makeup, my glow girl time, and I will be using Pro HD and my glow kit. Yes! Using my fan brush, I will first use out of my glow kit bronzed by Anastasia, and I get the top of my cheekbones, the middle of my nose, and the bottom of my chin as well as my forehead as you guys already know. I also like to highlight my brow bone and I will also use my Pro HD Revolution palette, Get Baked, to go in those same spots and highlight it that with that golden glowy type of highlighted look. Yes, I love it. 
For my last step, I set my face with the Urban Decay setting spray. And I love this bronzy, smoky eyeshadow look, guys. It's really natural and glowy. Make sure you guys leave a comment, tell me what you think, and make sure you guys keep up with me by smashing that notification button. And make sure you're subscribed. I will see you next video. Love you guys.